Picture this, a dimly lit living room, the soft glow of a vintage television set casting a warm, nostalgic ambience. It's a time when the world moved at a slower pace, and the allure of Hollywood stars captured our imaginations. As you sit back in that cozy armchair, memories of your earliest recognition of Karen Morley begin to flood your mind like scenes from a classic movie. Perhaps it was her captivating presence in the midst of that silver screen, her elegance and talent leaving an indelible mark on your young heart. Or maybe it was a whispered conversation among family and friends about her remarkable career, a name that always seemed to hold a special place in their hearts. Now, as we journey into the world of Karen Morley, let's uncover some intriguing and lesser-known facts about this remarkable actress who left an indelible mark on the golden age of cinema. From her captivating roles to her extraordinary life beyond the screen, the story of Karen Morley is one that will continue to inspire and captivate. So, fasten your seatbelt and get ready to delve into the captivating world of Karen Morley, where glamour, talent, and a touch of mystery await. It's a story worth discovering, and it'll be your guide through every twist and turn. Karen Morley, a trailblazer in Hollywood's golden era in the glitzy and glamorous world of Hollywood's golden era, one name stood out as a trailblazer both on and off the silver screen, Karen Morley. While her name may not be as instantly recognizable as some of her contemporaries, her life, career, and achievements are nothing short of remarkable. Born on December 12, 1909, in Ottawa, Iowa, as Mildred Linton, Karen Morley's journey to stardom was unconventional from the start. She began her acting career on Broadway, gaining recognition for her exceptional talent on the stage. In 1929, she transitioned to the burgeoning film industry in Hollywood, where her unique combination of beauty and intelligence quickly caught the attention of filmmakers and audiences alike. Morley was more than just a pretty face. She was an advocate for social change during a time when speaking out was far from the norm in Hollywood. In the 1930s, she was among the few actors who openly embraced leftist politics, and she proudly stood by her convictions. This made her a controversial figure in the entertainment industry, but she refused to compromise her beliefs for the sake of her career. One of her most iconic roles was in the 1932 film Scarface, where she portrayed Poppy, the complex and tragic love interest of Al Capone. Her performance was captivating, adding depth to a character that could have easily been one-dimensional. Her ability to convey both vulnerability and strength on screen left a lasting impact on the industry. Karen Morley's contributions were limited to her acting career. She was an early advocate for actors' rights and played a significant role in the founding of the Screen Actors Guild. Her activism extended to her work with the Actors Laboratory Theater, an experimental theater group in Los Angeles. Despite her undeniable talent, Morley's career faced hurdles due to her political beliefs. In 1934, she was blacklisted by Hollywood studios for her leftist affiliations, effectively putting an end to her mainstream career. However, she continued to act in independent films and on stage, refusing to be silenced. Later in life, Morley shifted her focus to academia, earning a master's degree in clinical psychology from the University of Southern California. She became a respected psychotherapist, using her knowledge and experience to help others. Karen Morley's life and career were a testament to her unwavering commitment to her principles, her resilience in the face of adversity, and her multifaceted talents. She defied Hollywood's norms, leaving an indelible mark on the entertainment industry and society at large. In retrospect, Karen Morley's story serves as a reminder that true greatness often lies not only in talent, but in the courage to stand up for what one believes in. She was a pioneer, an artist, and a visionary who will forever be remembered for her indomitable spirit. So, the next time you explore the annals of Hollywood history, remember the name Karen Morley, a remarkable woman who left an enduring legacy both in front of and behind the camera. Karen Morley, the renowned Hollywood actress of the early 20th century, made her mark not just for her talent, but also for a fateful audition. Born on December 12, 1909, in Ottawa, Iowa, Karen's career took an interesting turn when she auditioned for a role in Greta Garbo's movie Inspiration in 1931. This Hollywood folklore suggests that her audition was so impressive that director Clarence Brown immediately cast her in a significant role. However, her personal life also played a crucial role. She had a son named Michael Carroll Vidor, born on August 26, 1933. 
Michael was the child of her first husband, Charles Vidor. He lived until the age of 66, passing away on March 30, 2000, in the town of East Sound on Orcas Island, Washington. This intersection of personal and professional life highlights the intriguing journey of Karen Morley, a talented actress whose audition for inspiration not only launched her career, but also became a piece of Hollywood history. Her legacy endures in the annals of cinema. Karen Morley, a prominent figure in Hollywood's golden era, saw her career take unexpected turns due to personal choices and the turbulent political climate of her time. Although both topics provide intriguing insights into her life, let's delve into the first idea that highlights her involvement in an independent Western film and her testimony before the Senate committee. In 1953, Karen Morley made a unique cinematic appearance in an independent Western title, Born to the Saddle. This marked a significant departure from her earlier roles in major studio productions. However, this solitary film endeavor was not the primary reason for her sudden disappearance from the Hollywood scene. Before her foray into independent cinema, Morley testified before the Senate committee alongside her second husband, Lloyd Goh, with whom she shared leftist views. This public testimony on their political beliefs had far-reaching consequences. While Lloyd Goh eventually resurfaced in the 1960s, Karen Morley did not. Her decision to embrace her convictions came at a cost. She dropped completely out of sight, leaving behind the glitz and glamour of Hollywood. Karen Morley's case serves as a poignant example of the impact of political affiliations during the McCarthy era. Her unwavering stance on leftist ideologies effectively shuttered her career in the entertainment industry. Despite her one-time return to the silver screen and born to the saddle, Morley's Hollywood journey came to an abrupt halt due to her principled stand. In retrospect, Morley's story reminds us of the complex interplay between personal beliefs and career choices in the tumultuous political landscape of mid-20th century America. Her legacy as a staunch left-wing activist in the San Francisco area and her participation in the 1999 Vanity Fair photo shoot alongside other surviving victims of the Hollywood blacklist serve as enduring testaments to her unwavering convictions. Karen Morley's career trajectory is a stark reminder of the enduring influence of political ideologies on the lives of those who dared to speak out. Even in her 90 seconds, she remained a symbol of resilience and commitment to her principles. Karen Morley, the unfulfilled role in Duplex Karen Morley, a talented actress with a rich cinematic history, was once in contention for the role of Mrs. Connolly in the 2003 Drew Barrymore film, Duplex. This opportunity could have marked her fifth collaboration with a member of the Barrymore family. However, her audition never materialized due to an unexpected decision made by her grandson. Morley's career was notable for her appearances in various films, and she had a history of working alongside the Barrymore family in the past. While she might have been a familiar face to movie agors, her potential involvement in Duplex would have added another significant milestone to her resume. Unfortunately, despite her experience and talent, Morley's audition for the role was vetoed by her own grandson. The reasons behind this decision remain unclear, but it marked a missed opportunity for Morley to further cement her legacy in Hollywood. In retrospect, the role of Mrs. Connolly eventually went to another actress, but Morley's potential involvement in the project remains an intriguing what-if moment in her career. While she may not have secured this particular role, her contributions to the world of cinema continue to be remembered and celebrated. In addition to this near miss in her career, Karen Morley also ventured into politics, running as a candidate for the American Labor Party in 1954 in an unsuccessful bid for the position of New York Lieutenant Governor. Her foray into politics demonstrated her diverse interests and her commitment to causes beyond the silver screen. While Karen Morley may not have achieved the same level of fame as some of her contemporaries, her story is a reminder of the complexity and unpredictability of both the entertainment industry and the world of politics. In conclusion, Karen Morley's near opportunity in duplex and her political aspirations provide insight into the multifaceted nature of her life and career. Her legacy endures as a testament to her talent and ambition in both the entertainment and political spheres. As we draw the curtains on this journey through the illustrious career of Karen Morley, 
It's impossible not to feel the profound impact of her performances resonating within us. She was more than just an actress. She was a force that transcended the silver screen and etched her essence into the annals of cinematic history. As you reflect upon the tapestry of characters she brought to life, from the beguiling to the resilient, you may find yourself transported to the moments when her presence on screen held you spellbound. Perhaps it was her timeless elegance, her unwavering authenticity, or the sheer depth of emotion she infused into every role. Karen Morley possessed a rare ability to connect with audiences on a deeply personal level, leaving an indelible mark on our hearts and minds. Now, we invite you to share your cherished memories and thoughts about Karen Morley's performances. What was it about her acting that left an indelible mark on your cinematic journey? Which of her roles struck a chord with you, and why? Your insights are a testament to the enduring legacy she has left behind. As we pay tribute to Karen Morley, let us not forget the countless hours of joy, reflection, and inspiration she brought into our lives through her work. Her contribution to the world of entertainment is immeasurable, and her influence continues to shape the art of storytelling today. Thank you for joining us on this journey of remembrance and appreciation for Karen Morley's remarkable career. Your time and interest are deeply appreciated, as is your connection to the magic she brought to the world of cinema.